fantastic. I think that'll do it. Five like, oh, you're, you're still alive, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Zero four getting shoved into rocket launcher. Wow. Yeah. Shut your mouth about Zero Four's comeback here. Sorry. It's not gonna happen. You know what? People are complaining that we're such fanboys about Zero Four. I tell you what. When you've when you've uh, won how many uh, tournaments and you know other other such uh, Quake Three tournaments, you deserve a little bit of fanboyism, I think. Uh, he he is definitely a legend in our scene. Whether anybody wants to admit it or not, he is. So, yeah. And quite frankly, um, you know, Sparks, like, what I'm really liking is we're sort of seeing young blood versus old school, you know? And uh, Sparks is showing that uh, he's got some skills. Now, what kind of worries oh. me is that there are times where Sparks can be really on, and I want to give Sparks some credit because he is toppling a 0 4 here, but um, I think if Sparks were to have to face off against, say, Rafa today, or hang tomorrow, it's still going to be really, really difficult for him. Because, um, again, I put Sparks in sort of that... Oh, there it is. Game's been forfeited. I put Sparks in sort of that, um, you know, top tier, kind of just barely breaking into pro range. Even though that he has gone to a couple tournaments, his performance hasn't been terribly, terribly hot. So um, hopefully we'll get a chance to see... Well, you know, Sparks he's got... This. A, a comfortable pacing and he's he'll be willing to spend a lot of the time in the map even if he's the one down he's willing to spend like the first half of the map getting into that pace where he's really the one calling the shots as far as where the fights are happening where they're starting when they're ending and you know his major problem is going to be you know what if he's playing against somebody who's just juking up the playstyle enough to keep sparks from getting to that zone of comfort and that's a, that's a problem that kind of lack of adaptability is something I mean he's very very stubborn about the way he wants the map to be played out but other than that he's doing fantastic no, because somebody be. kept him up until 4 in the morning he doesn't dig Starcraft for some reason looking at you Steve-o excuse me I'm pretty sure you kept me up until 5 in the morning well I was kind of done after the second round but you wanted more not my fault it's not my fault you can't handle my stamina. <laughs> what, were, you, were you showing him the Steve Owl face? <laughs> oh, Damn straight. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I mean, hearing five maps was cool, but hearing five more times was something different entirely. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's single. That is why I'm single. Hey, I'm single. Any uh, single ladies out there? Hit me up. Yeah, Grease. They have to go to a screening to first. Holy crap. Reconnected. Sorry, you were talking to me? What did I miss? I was, I was just saying you're the next single lady for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, how, do, how do I say this? Uh, I'm, I'm a short, tasty white guy, but I can put it down. So, uh, there you go. <laughs> I think you should have to wait until 10 a.m. in the morning when he gets StarCraft to see the VODs. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. That's true, Seppi. We have a special bond that nobody can replace. And just so you know, I am going to be calling the store just in case they had some massive delay and see if it's still open as soon as I'm done with this broadcast. My god, dude, just, just, just leave it. No. no! Just go to bed tonight and dream about it. That, it'll be so much better. Yeah, except it won't, but I won't be playing. Won't Nikki want you in bed? No, she understands. This is tough enough time. <laughs> I need to find a woman like that. See, I know. I know. I, I'm the lucky dude. There's a reason why I married her, and um, the fact that she understands my geeky side was a beautiful piece of that. Yeah, but it's all over the moment you say spawn more overlords in bed. <laughs> Actually, um, she kind of digs Starcraft. She wants to learn it. 
I'm so turned on right now. I need to meet this one. Um, yeah, she uh, she's played a little bit of Quake Live. It's not really your cup of tea. Like she's more of a. Um, actually, you know you know what we did over the weekend? Uh, we we played through the entirety of Limbo, which is a great game on the Xbox, guys. Check it out. Support that developer. Play dead. Um, very cool game. Very cool concept. Uh, we played through the whole thing in one sitting, and then, uh, and then we weren't done, man. We loaded up uh, the remake, the reshelled version of TMNT, the arcade, and played through that. that nice. That co -op. It's good times, man. Nice. She she beat me on score in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I was like, what? But yeah, man, she's a button matcher extraordinaire. While we're on the subject of random console games, I've been getting sucked back into Symphony of the Night. That game is so close to perfection. It's not even oh, funny. Yeah. Never play Castlevania Symphony of the Night? Uh... Not... I don't think so. Really? I play Quake. So I mean, I. I mean, that, that's what we're doing I, I played a lot of the old school Castlevania on like the, you know, NES. Yeah. Maybe I just don't know the name of I remember when they were numbered. So, does that help? T9 being so, tossed is really interesting, especially coming yeah. from Griffin. Same thing with ZTN, yeah. Although, I think tossing ZTN DM6? was a really good move on uh, Ray's part. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think I think taking it to T7 for Ray will be uh, a smart move. Sort of. Almost definitely. DM6, as long as there isn't a broken initial spawn, should be okay. It should be a fairly even match, minus uh, six and thirteen. Griffin's rockets. Six and thirteen. Six to get us started. Really? This is gonna be brutal. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. Uh, that's kind of a rare set of events, but oops. This I don't know how here. smart it was for Ray to pick thirteen, though. Especially with yeah. Griffin's rockets. Right. Exactly. Mm. All right, once again, guys, this is the grand finals of tonight's regular season cup of the Intel XP Masters Season 5. This is the third regular cup, and of course, we are uh, we're going to be around for the fourth one, which is going to happen sometime after PlayCon. So. Looks F3 like for Ray. Yeah. Yep. So uh, both these guys have already qualified, and so what we're looking at now is essentially who's going to get the better seed in the group stage. So Griffin versus Ray, starting right now. And uh, I love the fact that we're going live. One fight. Griffin starts off with Mega up to RL. Ray plasma. Red armor heading over for a railgun immediately, so no initial uh, LG unfortunate spawn there. Griffin needing to be really careful because the opponent has a rail by now. Oh my god, tons Oof. of damage output, 81 health for Griffin. Ray doing some crazy area control right now. Griffin, LG rocket launcher, yes, but he's gonna have a difficult time finding an angle. There is Ray with the red armor pickup. Griffin, three seconds to mega health, and he's kind of stuck up here high and dry. Nice. He can throw down a rocket, and mega no, stuck in. There we perfectly. go. Yellow armor he picked up. Perfectly. Yeah, yeah. He forced Ray to basically hang out until Mega spawned. That gave Griffin a chance to get yellow. But Griffin left early enough where he could get yellow and then get back over to red. He still Ooh. lacks a railgun, though, so he has to leave this fight after eating well, he's a rail. going for it right now. Yeah, but uh, I don't and know. And no one picked red there. Yeah. Griffin's wow. like, oh, hey, Ray thanks, man. showing up at... <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ray not showing up at, at red, that both allowed Griffin a free grab of rail when he only had, what, like, 38 health and red armor, of course. And now mega health, too? I am confused. Yeah, now, Steve, uh, would you say the point was red. an experience thing there on this map? Where Ray sort of kind of got discombobulated, and you've got Griffin who just like, okay, I, I can take freebies. I don't know that it was experience as, as much as it was just an, a mistake, because yeah. Ray knows better than that. It's just sort of odd where yeah, he is going to be up here. Oh, snap! 
That was oh. great. That was great. But one second. Oh, that's not oh, so great. Shoot, don't shoot yourself. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Way to choke. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yes, first blood. And this is not guys. good. That was. It's, that, mm. We're not at a lockdown timing though. The red and, and mega are still pretty close to each other, where there's a potential. Yeah, if but a frag the, the happens. series of, event, of events leading up to that frag, that was an uh, unfortunate precedent. Oh man. Ow. Ow. Now Ray has knocked off the armor stack, but he should not be here. Let's see if he can hold out. Hero hold mode with the plasma gun. There's one railgun shot. Red armor was taken by Ray. Griffin's gonna press in with no armor, but he feels confident with all the weapon choices that he has available to him. He can get the frag, and he does so. Four to zero. This could turn it around, though. Out. Griffin is cool. out on armor. He's gonna have a yellow here, but he's gonna be a little bit out of position. He might even yeah, but, be late to red armor. He's but Griffin gonna be has going a rail. for. Uh, and Ray does not. And Griffin's not used. Okay, there oh, we go. It. But there's the miss. And yeah. it's going to be an exit. Five seconds left. Here comes this the spam. For Griffin. And off. Ray, Ray really dropping off. down there. That's a little yeah, risky. Yeah. Wow, he got Yikes. killed too. Yikes. Yeah. So that there's a m momentum swing. I love to see it. And Ray back in time for red. And he's trying to uh, set up shop just below it to make sure that he can minimize the rocket damage heading his way. There will be nothing but misses. So. Griffin needing to reset for the first time this match. Going to look for a bridge to rail. And uh, he's got it. And look at this. Cutting off Ray. Again, denied the railgun. Oof. Mostly free mega though, but yeah, he's looking short on position. Nice LG nice. with the rocket jump right off of Gr Griffin's face. That's gonna make it two on four here. Griffin get a spawn for LG. Ray's looking to do some damage with the rocket launcher, but he does not want to venture in this room. Yes, he does, apparently. Apparently, really? Okay, 33 health. The timing for that though, that <laughs> means no mega's gonna be up for a while. There's 125 up on the top, another down below. He's Ray, I mean, sure, oh my God. he went in for the frag. He went in for the frag, but he had little to respond with. I mean, now he's as weak as could be for this mega health. This is going to be map control for Griffin before too long. Sometimes you don't want that frag. It's going to cost you your, your stack. Yeah, well, we not only does it cost you your stack, it costs you the timing on items, the ability to get where you need to go. And, um, because, you know, you're, you're cut off by freshly spawn dude. So, five to three Griffin now. 150, 150, roughly. Ray, hoping that he can get this yellow without taking damage, but he's about to. I think. Yeah. Oh, there he goes the other way. There's, he vaults himself, I think, with a rocket jump or something. What was that? Or was that just a straight up jump? I guess so. It was just a jump. Mm. Okay. It, it looked like he had a lot of uh, horizontal speed to it, but I guess not. Griffin had a rocket right next to him. That's why. Gotcha. Griffin now nearly at full stack here at the top of the map. Again, that rail not going anywhere, and Ray without one. It's going to be difficult for him here. He's got rockets out. Ten seconds about for each item. I mean, we might be seeing a trade-off. Mega Health will be one second behind Red Armor. Ray is looking for that trade for sure. There it is, and the response is going to be... Jump pad right back on up. That should give him easy access to pillars. Dropping down low, looking for an attack from the LG room for yellow armor. But Ray's going to get Oops. that mostly for... Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Well, Ray's looking the a little sad frustrated, thing is, that actually. Means that he no longer has the height advantage approach for this red armor. He has... Right. Uh, or even railgun. You know, very delayed. And he doesn't really do any damage on the pickup. So Ray still not opting at railgun. Uh, Griffin's still hanging out. They're gonna trade again. Red and Mega. I really feel like Ray has to at some point get Railgun in order to try to even this thing up. He's been able to go toe for toe. Yeah. If that even makes... Do you go toe for toe? I guess you go toe to toe. But anyway, Red is up. That's a blunder by Griffin. Nice timing on wow. Red. Yeah. Huge mistake. And you're like the only dude I know to use boner in that respect since like 1947. But look at this LG coming from t bottom to top. Cam Ray not looking for the stop. It's gonna be a mega health grab. And maybe he'll be going up 